Hello everyone, this is day 37 and video number 37. So today we're going to start from here and this is the new book. This is uh, class 7. This is the book. Okay, so you know one thing, I, I was trying to copy the text but I, I'm not able to copy because I don't know what's the problem. The PDF, I think it's almost locked. That's why we cannot. Like I was trying to do in a laptop but nothing happened. I was trying to do it in a mobile, nothing happened. Um, that's why I think the phone is best. But if I sh read this thing on laptop, then you will see the big screen. So this is the thing. But I will try to convert it. And if I able to copy, then I will try to move on there. Okay. Okay. So now let's get started from here. Mm, okay. Learning's outcome. After we have study, this unit, okay, will be able to follow instruction, command, and request announcement and act accordingly 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 what's the meaning of accordingly accordingly right uh, accordingly accordingly let me find out the word accordingly accordingly che unuje okay Okay, accordingly. Accordingly. Yeah, accordingly. Okay, let me note down this word because it's sometimes it's needed. You sound straight and innotation. Ask an answer question. Okay, I know this. Okay. Okay, you need to earn attention, please, uh, in the classroom. Teacher, good morning and welcome everybody. Mm, te students, good morning, teacher. S teacher, uh, are you ready for the class? Yes, teacher. Have you got your new books? Yes, teacher. We have. Good. Uh, please remember to bring the English book every day and speak English with me and with your classmate. That's really good. Read the conversation and act it out in pair. Discuss w the, the discussion with your partner. What does the teacher ask the student to do? The teacher tell us that like uh, remember that thing to bring your English book every day and speak English with me and with your classmate. Now answer the question. Do you speak English with the teacher? If you can, when and how often? Normally when I was in school, that time we are not practicing this thing with our teacher because that time we, th we uh, feel hard. We feel... Um, afraid to read English because in that time we are not good in this and our teachers also try to do that but we are not able to uh, do or we are not able to uh, practice with the, with him do you speak English with your friends and classmates how often not really because uh, I will already say you that like when we were in school that time we are not expert we are not fluent in English we are not no much vocabulary so it's not possible to conversation using English. If you speak English outside the class, why do you speak it? Um, in our school, that time I'm not practicing, but I was doing a coaching. Um, I was trying to learn English grammatical as well and try to learn some vocabulary uh, in the coaching. That's it. If you speak English outside, okay. Um, do you watch in an English programming TV or what program do you watch? Not really, because in this time I was only watch cartoons and Hindi movies, but not really any English. But I just try to uh, that time I just try to watch some English news, but I'm not getting fun from there. So this one can waste timing for me because sometimes that happen. I don't understand this uh, news, what they saying, what is happening. I cannot understand. But now uh, I'm just trying to watch some movies, not really any kind of TV series or something. Try to watch movie. Okay, outside is tool. Listen and read this short conversation. Fine, can you draw your paint, please? The meme? Yes, of course. You can. Here you, here you are. Radif, could you please help me with my math? I'm sorry, I cannot. I'm not good at math. Sister, will you turn the television off? I'm doing my homework. Brother, sorry, I did not notice that. Please go on with your study. 
Please go on with your study. Can you lend me your book for today? Sorry, I cannot. I need to read it tonight. Can you give me 500 taka? Sorry, I cannot. I have only 20 taka, uh, taka with me. Can you give me your calculator, please? Yes, I can. Here is it. Can you get me a notepad and ball pen from the stationers? Yes, of course, I will. Can you put my box in my in the car, please? Yes, I can. I will. Make a request using this prompt. You want to someone to help you with the washing. We can say, "Hey, can you hey, can you help me uh for wash my hat wa wash <laughs> for washing or wash?" You want someone to give chance for a hundred taka note. Can you please change the note? Can you please change the hundred taka note, please? You want someone? Wait a minute. Please wait for a minute. You please wait a minute. I'm coming. Oh no, it's not like that. Uh, can you please wait a minute for me? Then the next one. Can you please carry my bag? Can you please call the rishka for me? Can you please call the rishka? Okay. In house, mop, mop, det detergent. Oh, detergent. Yeah, detergent. What are this thing? But what's the meaning of mop? M O P. Oh my god, it's some kind of um, jaru. Is it true? M O P means jaru. Oh, it's a name is boom. Boom means jaru. Brush man jaru. Broom, right? Uh, let me note down this thing because it's one kind of needed. Sometimes that happened. I have to speak this thing. So it's called broom. Jaru. Okay. Mother, Reza, will you come here please? Reza, yes mom. Mother, look at the kitchen. It's, it is very uh, untidy. I want to make it neat and tidy. Would you give me a hand? Uh, sure, can you please take the pots and the plates from the table and put them on cupboard? I don't know what's the cupboard. Okay, first I will sweep the floor. Mucha, right? Sweep means mucha. Um, will you bring me the broom, please, here? Okay, so broom means hello, jaru, and the sweep means, I think, mucha. Or what is the meaning of the sweep? I don't know. Let me find out this thing on Google Translate because here we are getting lots of uh, useful something. Oh no, it's like Druto Bege Gabon or Kura Nova. Sweep. Okay. Oh, I was thinking like Musa, but it's not like. Okay, that's good. Mm, thank you. And I'm going to mop the floor. Could you please uh, me a mop and bucket some detergent? Okay, no problem. Here they are. Thanks, dear. Welcome. Okay. Would you read the shopping list? Um, uh, certainly, I will. Okay. No, thanks. The shopping list. Uh, uh, sorry, I cannot. I have to leave my glasses for study. Uh, what for? Okay, how much? Uh, okay. Uh, will you go to marketplace? Yes, I will. Sorry, I cannot. Okay. Will you buy me a liter of cooking oil, please? Yes, I will. Uh, will you buy me uh, some rice? Certainly, I will do it. Would you like some tea? No thanks. I have enough with me. Uh, sorry. Uh, will you switch on TV, please? Why? Rena is watching. You tell her to watch the TV. Um. Mm. Uh, okay. 
suppose your friends and relative are coming to visit you mm, write a dialogue between you and your brother as you're making your room you can use the word from the box take out bring push move hang some picture okay cross there okay let's see excuse me can you please tell me the way of the real station passer by oh it's not very fair go along this thread and you will come to big crossroad turn left go alone go along about 200 meter and you will see the tall building go past and the station is on the right as if go along come to cross crossroad turn left go about 200 meters tall building station on the right thank you so much oh okay thank you excuse me a polite way to drawing some somebody attention it's okay you can also say you're welcome so this excuse me is a polite way to drawing some somebody attention it's okay you can also say you're welcome mm -hmm. can you go to mush road Oh, it's a quite fair. Mm, I cannot because I didn't understand this thing. Station, building, crosser. Okay. Look at the picture, answer the question. What is it? It's a, I think, library. Um, no, no, it's the bookshop, I think, bookstall. Where can you find it? You can find it in a uh, badger. Uh, yeah, Baja. Is there a bookshop near the house? A school? No Opazilla town? Tell me about it. Yes, we have. We have uh, in a Baja. You know, we have in a Baja, the book stall. Al almost one, only one book store is have because now, you know, it's a pandemic. So, nothing. No one buy the book. No one buy anything else. So, their business is almost uh, going down. We are the same thing. Listen to the teacher and CD or the question. What do you mean by in stock or out of stock? So in stock means they already have available the book, but if it is out of stock, they don't have the book. Who are talking with the con this conversation? I don't know who is talking about because I did not hear the CD because I don't have this thing. Where is the conversation taking place? I think it's in a bookstore or a book stall. How many books does a student want? Uh, it's up to you because I don't know how many. Um, what books does she want to buy? I don't know, man. How the cost? You? I don't know. Let's move. I just make a dialogue saying a uh, following sentence in the right order. Then write a dialogue in a notebook. Okay. Thanks. Can hello? Can you help? Can I help you? Yes. And eraser too. Feet. 15 taka 15 taka please 15 taka please here you are sure anything else here is the money how much can i have a pencil okay answer this question have you ever eaten the in a restaurant if yes what uh yes it was i was in my friend um I've, it's like a few days ago i think yeah i just locked down i was made with someone but when i'll move in, in a city then i will try to move or try to go a restaurant i will try to okay how many people are sitting on the correct table oh my god how is the city no nothing okay what work in pa pairs Write dialogue between a uh, waiter and customer in restaurant, giving a taking order for the following foods item. When you finish eating, act out the dialogue. Rice, fish curry, dal, vegetables, f fresh, juicy, and mineral water. Oh my god, lots of uh, CD. Listen text. Okay, man, that's for today. I'm not going to... M more make this video more longer because it's okay because it's too late if you see the time it's almost 12 
um, to test home too late because I was just trying to find out the solution but I did not get it but it's okay today tomorrow we're going to start from this uh, lesson unit 2 thanks for watching bye